Hi guys, welcome back to Spoon Feeding Profits. Right now I want to share with you five jackets that just sold on eBay, right? I just went to the sold listings and I I narrowed it down. I narrowed down the search to um, jackets that sold between $40 to $100, men's jackets, and uh, all of them are pre-owned, right? Because that's, um, if you were a seller like me who finds most of your products in um, thrift stores and garage sales and estate sales, you know, most of the stuff we find is pre-owned. So these are all sales, all pre-owned items, all men's, and the most recent sales up to this point of me making this video on eBay, which is right now. All right. So let's get into those and see what is selling. All right, guys. Remember, subscribe if you're liking these videos. Uh, like the video. Let me know. You know, give me some engagement. Let me know what's going on. Are you liking them? Are you not liking them? Leave a video. Um, not a video. <laughs> Leave a comment on the bottom. You know, let me know if you like the videos. If there's a specific video I can do. Um, as long as I'm able to do it, I will do it. All right, let's get into the video, guys. So first jacket, this one, these are in no um, <clears throat> specific order. These are just the most recent five. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. So this is a vintage Joke suede leather fringe jacket. I've never heard of this brand Joke, but I do know um, leather, anything like this, you know, um, <clears throat> fringe kind of Western looking. Definitely, um, definitely something to look at. Joe K. Let's see what that brand looks like. Hmm. I want to say I've seen this brand before, but I don't know if everything sells pretty well. This is leather, so, you know, and it looks like it's in very good condition. And if you notice, it says buckskin up here. Buckskin. Um, so not everything might sell. As well this one has a flaw there's a small hole right there but it's still sold so there you go Joe K it's definitely a, a brand worth researching if you see it maybe not because I'm thinking if this is a unique piece and you know it went for 60 bucks well I think it did from what I can see here plus $17 shipping hmm decent all right but yeah anything like this would catch my attention anyways and then I'll do the research so yeah, that one went for 60 bucks, just sold on eBay. All right. Um, second item, Barber. This is a pretty good brand. I've personally never found it. I know of it. I've heard resellers talking about it that sell clothing. Um, actually, I did find one once. Um, it was more like a pea coat kind of, but it was very, very damaged. So I just left it. Um, but here, guys, quilted. Quilted stuff sells. Um, so this is a barber jacket. Um, I think this could have gone for more based on my research on this particular brand. Um, if you notice, this one is a. Uh, it went on bids. It was auction. So nine bids, fifty one dollars, ten dollars shipping. I could see this going for seventy nine dollars, sixty nine dollars. Um, buy it now price. So yep, this just sold. This is what the brand looks like. It's pretty much the word spelled out, but it's really high quality stuff. All right. You can find jackets. You can find suits. There's a lot of uh, stuff. There's pants with this brand. All right. Pants. Don't uh, don't quote me on pants. I've never seen a pants, but I've seen suits. I've seen jackets, stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure. I don't know why they wouldn't have pants. But just check out for that brand, Barber. Guys, this is just so Remember I was talking about in the last video that quilted items sell, especially when you find it with a good brand. It's definitely going to sell. All right. Next item that just sold. Again, these are men's jackets and these are within the prices of $40. I narrowed it down to $40, between $40 and $100. Pre-owned, all pre-owned. All right. This one is $51.50. This went for free shipping. I will not do free shipping with this jacket. I've sold a few of these myself. They're huge. At least $10.99 shipping I pay for these. But um, <clears throat> these are these, those barn coats, barn jackets. These sell fairly well, even if they have a little bit of damage or stain. Not, not much, but they still go, right? Corduroy trim in the... Uh, um, on the 
oh, why is this word failing me? The collar. Or it looks more like, nope, it's a fleece trim. The ones I come across mainly has the corduroy trim. But these are fleece trim. That's pretty cool. Um, usually they would have like a flip cuff. This actually has a fleece lining, it looks like, inside. Yep. Pretty nice. Perfect for this weather. I think they could have gotten more for that. I really do. But um, there you go. Barn jackets. Again, sometimes you'll see the fleece trim, but more commonly I do see the uh, corduroy trim. All right? And they'll have it usually on the cuff as well. But if you flip the cuff, I'm pretty sure. All right. Next item that's sold. Marmot. Marmot precip waterproof jacket. Um, this is a men's size large. Red nylon. Nylon cells. Um, Marmot is a really good brand. Everything. This goes to show you brands play a huge part. You know, we know certain things still sells. That are not brand name, but if you're trying to move stuff faster, brands will play a huge part in that. Um, Marmot is a pretty good brand. Outdoor, hiking, you know. It's literally, the word is spelled out, Marmot. Uh, like right there, Marmot. You know, there's some high-end one. I sold one um, for $149. Someone said I could have gotten at least 200 for that jacket, but I sold it for 149 There's some really, like, some amazing quality. It was a rain jacket as well, too. Um, but, yeah. You know, nylon. It's, uh, it's similar to a windbreaker, but, you know. So, let's see. When I see nylon, and it's a good brand, it's just automatic. <laughs> nylon is one of those fabric that people are always worried you know folks are always hiking and look this one has a little bit of damage to it nothing much um but yeah it went for 41 dollars, guys free shipping and last but not least out of the five most recent sales on ebay arcteryx i love this brand i don't find it that often <laughs> but when i do awesome so this is uh arcteryx jacket if you look at this title, there's nothing in that title. Arcteryx Jacket Men's Med Sage. That's it. Um, it just goes to show you the brand is what sell, sold this item. Because, <laughs> you know, normally you put, uh, there's so many other keywords that can go in there. And for certain brands, you got to put every keyword you can possibly think of. But Arcteryx, amazing, amazing brand. Again, I would not put these brands on auction. I'm just going to put a price based on the condition and, you know, what I know they're going for and wait. That's what, it's like a skeleton of something is the logo with the word spelled out, Arcteryx. Um, I found a few Arcteryx pants in the past. Um, so, yep. I, if you notice, guys, these listings are just kind of thrown on the floor, <laughs> but the brand sells them. Right, so this was fifty-seven dollars for two bids, eight seventy-five shipping. Those are five jackets that just sold. Let's go over those brands: Arcteryx, Marmot, uh, the Marmot rain jacket, LL Bean, LL Bean barn jackets. You can't go wrong with them. They're like huge. They have the two pockets on the side, big pockets. They usually, like I said, have a corduroy or fleece trim up there and on the cuffs. Uh, Barbour. I don't know much about it. I've heard of it. I've never really found it and or yeah, haven't really found it and sold it. So I don't know much. I just know the brand to look for. Um, I know quilted would sell, so this would definitely get my attention. Um, and this Joe K. Again, I don't know if this is a brand I would just run with, but I'll definitely do research if I were to see it. All right, guys. So those are five jackets that just sold on eBay. Um, like the video. Let me know that you're liking these videos. Let me know. I just want to know. So, because, you know, I'm committing to making a few more videos than I used to. Um, but I want to make videos that you guys like. Or if you have any suggestions, put it in the bottom. Um, subscribe if you haven't yet, because I'll be making more videos. Um, guys, thank you for checking out the channel. And as always, be kind out there. All right? See ya.